Welcome back to Kyrmox. Today, I am giving you a little marketing insight and giving you five marketing skills to master, a chiropractor's guide. So we've gone through a lot of different topics within marketing in general, and now this is kind of tying it all together. And in one bundle, if you had to pick five things and five things only to work on at your chiropractic practice, these are the five. Quickly, these are the five we're gonna go through. Knowing and understanding your target audience. Writing keyword rich content. Number three is updating your website. The basics, don't worry, we're only gonna talk about the basics. And number four, posting and reviewing on social platforms. And finally, number five, reporting regularly on results. I wanna run regularly. We'll go into more detail on that later. Okay, so from the top, number one, knowing and understanding your target audience or audiences, because you probably have number two, more than one, at least two target audiences. Um, so at this point, we have talked about almost every single video so far. If you have watched our video, you've probably felt like I've covered this in depth. And that's true because this really is the heart of marketing, knowing who you're marketing to. If you don't have that base, how is any of your marketing effective? It's just a shot in the dark as to what you're doing. So um, as a chiropractor, if you can first really, really truly understand your audience, you're gonna have a leg up on the other chiropractors who don't understand audiences. Um, so the way to know this, a couple different ways, uh, pay attention to who you're seeing on a regular basis, uh, general demographics as well as more specific, uh, what are they coming in for, age range, um, gender, um, family status, that kind of stuff. Um, and also you can have your uh, front office people be paying attention. They see everyone who comes in, including you know parents if they're dropping kids off. Um, so ask them and then also um, pay attention. This is a good opportunity to get on Google Analytics because then you can see uh, who's coming straight up to your website even if they're not coming into your office and you can kind of figure out untapped markets through Google Analytics. Number two, writing keyword rich content. This is important for SEO. I don't need you to be an SEO expert. It's tough to be an expert in anything and you've already chosen to be an expert in chiropractic. So you can stick with that. The only thing you should be able to do is to be conscientious of the keywords that you are using on your website and then as you add more content, make sure you're including those keywords. Luckily for you, the trend and the best practice is to use intuitive keywords. So how do people actually search? How, what kind of searches do you want your website to pop up for? So then think about from the searcher side, how would I search that? Use those keywords specifically on your website and that will help your SEO over time as you include those in blog posts and in updates to your website. Number three is updating your website, um, <laughs> knowing the basics. So what I mean by this is you uh, may want to switch your office hours. So if you know how to get into the back end and quick switch that out, then you don't even have to reach out to your website provider and can provide that update very quickly. Um, or just knowing um, how to add a new blog post. That's fairly simple for like take myself as an example. I am not a web developer, but I can go in and add blogs to our own website. So knowing how to do that is important because it helps you to understand what's going on in the back end and seeing how it presents on the front end. Um, this is something, of course, if you're if you're building a website with us, we're always available to help out and we often do tutorials for chiropractors who want a little more independence in updating their websites. So find out what your web provider is comfortable with you doing and then um, think about what you are comfortable doing and um, work that into your knowledge base. Number four, posting and reviewing on social platforms. So I add reviewing because it's not enough to just post, you have to see how these posts are doing. Uh, 
Okay, and the reason I've underlined both of them is because it's a tendency when you are in charge of your own social to post every once in a while. So as a chiropractor, if you are handling your own social media, you need to put a priority on it so that you are not posting once every month, every other month. What tends to happen is that time in between gets longer and longer. So post frequently, whatever that frequency is, stick to it. We've actually covered, I'll leave a link on the screen here because we covered social media in depth in a full series a couple months back and we talked about this specifically. But make sure you're posting regularly, but then going back and reviewing because that's how you know what's working and that's how you know what to change in the future. And that point is a perfect segue into point number five here, reporting regularly on your results. So. I want you to check out your Google Analytics and see how web, tra web traffic is. See how many people are reading your blogs. When you're sending out a newsletter, see, track how many people are opening, how many people are clicking. Uh, your social media, check out the reports on that. So it doesn't have to be very time consuming. It can just be uh, like in MailChimp, for instance, if you're running a newsletter through that, you can just have them generate a report for you. But the point is that you are regularly checking on how your marketing is doing. Because if we tie this in all the way back to number one, if you think you know your target audience, but then aren't checking to see if you actually do, then your marketing isn't as effective as it could be. And these, if you do these five things in conjunction, you are well on your way to having a very strong uh, marketing presence, and which leads to an overall strong brand presence and leads to more clients for your chiropractic practice. All that is really great stuff. Uh, we can definitely go into more detail. I think we actually have covered all of these points in other series, but I wanted to tie it all in for you here. If you are wondering what things should you focus on, um, these are it. If you have any questions for us on these topics, definitely reach out. Chiromox.com is the website, um, and then add backslash blog to get to our blog post, or backslash contact to get to our contact page. Um, I'll leave all the information in the box below, so it's easy to reach out to us. But in the meantime, um, have a great weekend, and we will see you here next week. Bye.